Good morning, we are now in Sweden after a 27 hour crossing on the boat. It wasn't too bad though, was it? It was a little bit choppy. Yeah, a little bit choppy, but... You it, didn't feel very well, did you? No, but that might have been because of the um, southern comfort we had the first night. Anyway, we won't go there. And I've, <laughs> <laughs> and I've just been looking out the window. Look, there's a, it looks like a helicopter pad there. And lots of Swedish vehicles parked up here, ready for export. Volvos and all that. Um, yeah, so we've got a three day drive now up into Finland and up to Lapland to a place called Muonio. And I've just had uh, feedback from my mate, he's just over a day ahead of us, and he said the weather's not very good. So um, it could be exciting, isn't it? Eh? We'll see. Break time, we've done 305 kilometers and we've had pretty good weather. No snow, it's actually 12 degrees at the moment. Um, flat out, because we want to get as much done as we can today. As uh, our mate that's a day, just over a day ahead, he's having lots of problems um, where he is. It's, it's really snowing. Black ice, he's having trouble getting traction. Um, but yesterday when he came out of Gothenburg, it took him an hour and a half to get out of Gothenburg and we come straight out because it was um, 10 degrees and the roads were just wet. So so hopefully tomorrow, when we go up to where he is now, it, it'll be all clear again. So we're just at this filling station at, um, hang on, there we go. Nothing special, just a Lincoping. sort of... Linkoping. Linkoping, as we would say, but I bet the um, Swedish wouldn't. Linkoping? No, Swedish. Swedish, that's it, yeah, I forgot where we were then. Um, yeah, so that's it, we're just having 45 and a lovely cup of coffee and a muffin and sort the truck out a little bit, um, sort the bits and pieces out. Got the front wheel trims back on because I took them off for the boat. And um, yeah, so all's good. You happy? Yeah. yeah. Got your coffee, look. <laughs> and I'll be happy tonight to get in that bed all nice and still and quiet, a bloody boat. Without sliding down oh, the bed and sliding yeah, back up Sliding again. down and up and round <laughs> and in and out and whatever. But yeah, so it'd be nice to get back in the old pet tonight. So um, yeah, we've got another 10 minutes to go and then we'll crack on. As I say, that I hate saying. Well, you'll have to think of another That I'll have to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's that then. We're about um, 35 mile away from Stockholm at the moment. So that'll get us to Stockholm at the rush hour, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So we'll have all that malarkey, it'd be like going around the M25, I suppose. Might be different. Might be, I might have it sorted. 
Oh, there is one thing with people out here. It's not only the UK they don't indicate. I think it's catching out here as well. We don't need to know where they're going because they know where they're going, don't they? So we haven't had no, no snow yet, so I can cope with the rain. We'll have all that tomorrow, I suspect. That's it all clears. That's Geddy's getting it all. <laughs> We've still got to go where he's been. Yeah, well, we're going where he's been now, and he had snow here yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. It sounds like he's having a bit of a nightmare. Black ice, zero degrees. Stuff. Seen accidents, jackknife lorries. And you've got longer trucks out here, you've got double Arctics, you've got um, eight wheel. Uh, rigids with 40 foot trailers on the back and you've got Arctics with drawbar trailers on the back you've got all sorts of configurations here very interesting but it's for me anyway hopefully I'll be able to get some of that on camera some stage through the trip hopefully I'll still be up in Muonio in Lapland for Saturday sometime and get tipped so we're not meant to tip till Monday but if we get out there Saturday and get tipped, that's, um, that's better for us. Well, this is Stockholm, if you can see it. So far, so good, isn't it? Not been bad, is it? Considering it's rush hour. Bloody truck up there with no lights on that. Idiot. Quarter to four. Yeah, quarter to four, and it's pitch black, look. Mad. It's only going to get worse the further north we go, isn't it? Another one, bloody great humps look. I'm half expecting to stop though as we get on the other outs, on the outbound of the outskirts. And you. So far so good though. We're going into a tunnel here a little bit. So I can't remember none of this because it was three years ago I last come through here. I've slept a few times since then. Now I think it was morning time I come through last time, so I was able to see the sights. Actually nailed up, is it? It's to be expected. As long as it don't get worse. It's all that up there, cranes. Yeah. Bloody hell! Look at that. It looks like some stars. Isn't that weird? After 700 yards, keep left. bring anything to mind? It's going the wrong way around. Yeah, you're going anti-clockwise. I don't it's not a ring road though, is it? I don't think this is a straight through, and it? it's, it's not a circle like the M25. Uh, could be worse. By the way, we got that bloke to put his lights on. It took a, a foreigner to tell a Swede to put their lights on. Bloody hell! <laughs> oh, Get a few more lights on that mate, won't you? God. <laughs> We're burning my eyes out. 
better than no lights though, isn't it? Like that pillock that was yeah, back there. Was so Jesus Christ. We're done for the day. We're parked in a place called Gavel. Is that right? Gavel. That's about an hour and a half north of Stockholm. Uh, we had a little stop um, north of Stockholm after all that traffic. But it wasn't that bad in the end. I thought it was going to be a bit rubbish, but it worked out nicely. So we've done just over eight hours driving from Gothenburg this morning after our 27 hour uh, ferry crossing from Immingham. We've got just under two days up to Finland, Lapland or Munio. Munio? Muo? Muo? Muonio is in Lapland. I'd never think I'd ever drive or ever go to Lapland, let, let alone drive up there. Um, we haven't uh, experienced bad weather yet. We've experienced weather like we normally get in the UK. Just pouring down a blasted rain, isn't it? And. Um, but I think we're going to get a little bit more further up because we spoke to our mate Geddy and he's had a very stressful day. He's had a lot of black ice and snow. But he has been told by somebody that it's going to rain and the temperature is going, going to come up to about 5 degrees. So hopefully it'll be clear for us going up through like it was today. When he came out of uh, Gothenburg yesterday, it took him an hour and a half to get out of Gothenburg and it snowed nearly all the way up to where we are at the moment and um, so we've been lucky really and uh, uh, I don't know what what the uh, temperature is but it's just a little bit wet outside temperature's dropped a little bit got a night here on we just had our dinner a little bit of something in the cab we're having a couple of bottles of beer we might have a little bit of Malibu in a minute eh? let's better get you in look a little bit of Malibu eh? I think so and we had a little bit of retro rub just now, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we went up yeah, and um, the data on. We put we we and some rub. We tried the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we tried the Wi-Fi here. It's rubbish. So I had to put uh, rub on the data. A lot of you won't know who retro rub is, but those who do know who he is and know what it's all about. So he's one of them top DJ blokes that plays old school anthems on a Saturday night. That is. Six till eight. Six till eight. Zach FM. The quickest two hours of your life. Of your week, not your life. God. Anyway, that's it now. We're going. We're going to have a little bit of chill out. I've got some editing to do. And I'm glad to be in something that's not moving around all over the place. I'm in my bunk tonight. And Andy's up there. Andy? Andy's up there. <laughs> Where's he? There's no Andy's here. Um, only on the end of me wristies. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of editing. I'm going to have a drop of Malibu. And I'm going to get in that bunk. Because it's nice and quiet, and it's not moving. It's not, I'm not sliding from end to end on a boat. <laughs> oh, I can't stand in bloody boats. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us today. See you later. Bye. Bye.